down the red carpet they came, the jesters and the jokers, the pretenders and the princesses, all to see a Las Vegas act nobody had ever tried before. The truth. Who would have thought that this guy, angry, fighting me, would have ever become? Let's start again. You just tell me what you want me to do. Direct me, brother, and I will be directable. The plan was that Mike Tyson, the undisputed truth, would be a two-hour, one-man, is he really going to do this show at the MGM Grand, featuring a guy with a lisp and a reputation for using his mouth for more than talking. How's it feel in your stomach like compared to a fight? Well, it's, it's the same. It's just that I don't have to worry going to the hospital afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Still, live on stage, alone, in front of 740 people, with no bell to save him? Terrifying, even for Iron Mike Tyson. Ladies and gents, put your hands together for the men of the evening. I know many are probably wondering, right? What the hell am I gonna do on stage tonight? <laughs> you know, and I'm wondering the same thing. <laughs> Tyson is lighter these days, and not just in pounds. Three years sober, 45 years old, married for the third time, the father of seven. He transformed David Copperfield's usual theater into the world's largest confessional booth. This is my father right here. Well, hold on, let me rephrase that, okay? This is the man that my mother told me my father was. It was the tale of the tale. Cocaine, prostitutes, crime, street brawls, lawsuits, and loneliness. And that doesn't even include the stuff he left out. I didn't talk about getting, um, uh, a jail a prison official pregnant and stuff. What do you mean you got a jail official pregnant? Yeah, it's just what happened. This will be in the next show. Yeah. Okay. I mean, my prostitutes and stuff. Oh, I love this stuff. Go ahead, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tyson talked about going back to Brooklyn to rob people, even as a pro, about being sent to the psych ward after biting Holyfield's ears. He was as up and down as his career. Raw, sweet, disgusting, funny, and through it all, knock you back in your chair, honest. I just wanted to get home and smoke my weed, man. It was not Sinatra, but he did it his way. And hey, at $99 a ticket for a boxer fighting his way through financial ruin, it's a living. You said something totally odd tonight. You said, I dressed up nice tonight, but I'm really still an animal. But you didn't seem like an animal. No, you know. All animals are not wild either. A lot of them are domesticated, you know. <laughs> <laughs>